All right, Ryan, we just wrapped up a super heavy episode about basically your entire life yeah. up to this point. And, um, you know, as a former Green Beret, now you're in Ukraine, demining the entire country. And people are dying to know what guys like you carry to protect yourself every day. Just at home, not not jumping into Baghdad, not fighting in Afghanistan, not mm -hmm. Ukraine, just... Ryan, at home, what are you doing? What are you carrying to protect yourself every day? Sig or Glock? Which one? So I have, uh, so I have an older Glock, but it's the Glock 19. Yep. But um, but the uh, what is it? The P49 for the Sig, the P. 365. It's in it, it's in the truck, but um, I'd have to take a uh, better look at it. But I'm always <laughs> I'm always packing something. 100%. Um, as I was saying during the show, um, don't watch the news. Um, well, I also see what's going on out there. And a part of, you know, me is I'm never going to be a victim to anybody either. You're not going to victimize me, but even worse, you'll never victimize my family. Yeah. And part of that is, you know, being ready. So I think a lot of people, they – they misjudge um, violence of action for being a bad guy or weakness for being a good guy. A weak guy can never be a good guy. And a man who understands how to use violence, um, but he holds that to himself and it's only used when needed to protect those who can't protect themselves. That, that's a good guy yeah. in, my, in my mind. A weak guy can never protect those who need it. He is the person that needs to be protected. And I mean, an armed law abiding citizen, yeah, that's protection right there. Yes, it is. Yeah. What, so how many, how many rounds does your SIG hold? Uh, 16. 16. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's one of the older ones, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it you're, while. it's not like a subcompact. This, mm -mm. okay. Yeah. So this is probably, you're probably carrying the Sig P320. Yeah, the, yeah. I was gonna say the the Sig um, P329, um, but I don't think there is a 29. I think it's the 320. So yeah, yeah. But, Damn, that is old. So it's yeah. striker fired. Yep. It's it's like the equivalent to the Glock 19, but Sig. Yeah, I've ha I've had it for years, years and years and years. Well, I got a buddy over at Sig, and he found out you were coming on the show, and he wanted me to show you this. Oh man. His name's Jason. But uh, there should be a business card in there for you. Yeah, the 365. So nice. that holds, what does that hold? Um, we're looking at 17 plus 17 one in the plus chamber. One in the, yeah. yeah, so so when they designed that, they designed the magazine first, and then they designed the weapon around the magazine. That is awesome. And so, yeah, you got 18 rounds in there. It's a subcompact. They put... Um, and it's small. How yeah. Yeah, that is. And then, Man. yeah, they put that red dot on there. Yep. Go ahead, hold it up. And um, you see those that ported barrel? Yeah. You know what that is, but I'll, I'll describe it for the – well, you describe it for the audience. You know what that's for, right? For the uh, the gas release? Yeah. Yeah. Helps keep you on target, helps with recoil management, yep. helps keep the, the gun flat when you're shooting it, but – and it's a stubby, so you're not going to eat as much of that gas. Yeah. Yep. So, so yeah, there's a card in there. Give Jason a call. I think he's got something very similar to send you. If it's not in there, I got it. Okay. It to yeah, you afterwards. I don't think but so, yeah. what else are you carrying on your everyday? Do you carry a blade or anything like that? Yeah. No, I have a. Um, so my actually I didn't. No, I didn't bring it with me. Um, God, let me think. It's the fixed blade. No, no, no. It's folder. It's, what's that? Folder. No. Automatic. No. Yeah. It's um, Microtech. Mm -mm. Nope. We got them. We got them. I got the whole team issued them in Afghanistan. It was the. Yeah. Think. 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 I'm uh, dying here, Ryan. What yeah, is it? I am too. <laughs> I am too. Um. Benchmade. Uh-uh. Spiderco. No. Strider. Uh-uh. What 
Why is it? <laughs> when I get to the hotel and I send you a picture, you're going to be like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, it's an auto? Yeah. Yeah, it's... God, why am I drawing a blank on this? That's all right. What else do you carry? My brain is mush. We just did five hours of we some did. super deep we stuff. Did. <laughs> um, so I, I definitely have... Well, at this point in time, my primary is actually, you know, my pistol, not my primary weapon system. And then I have um, my knife. Um, Other than that, in the vehicle, though, the vehicle, I also have another um, pistol in there. So whether that's going to be the... It'll be one or the other. If I have the SIG on me, then the Glock will be in there. If I have the Glock on me, um, either way. But, um, and then, yeah, I think biggest thing I carry about me is my wits. You know, if a situation looks bad, I I don't need any part of it. I'll go the other way. Some guy comes in and, you know, it's, wants to start trouble. So I don't want any trouble, man. Yeah, you're the baddest motherfucker in here. Fine. Yeah. I'll leave. Yeah. That's cool, yeah. man. I got I got no issues. You carry any medical? What's that? Any medical? In the vehicle, I do. Yeah? You yeah. got a lot of stuff in the vehicle? Uh, well, in my truck, yeah. So I'll have the Israeli wrap um, tourniquets and um, gauze. So that's big. Th- those are the main things that I can get if, if I'm ro- coming up to a car accident or some other injury. Um, I would say, you know, to have first responders on the team, if I can... If I can help stabilize you for 15, 20 minutes, somebody should be there. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then, yes, yeah, so <laughs> you got to tread tread lightly because, you know, the uh, if someone gets hurt more from the care that you're trying to provide and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, look, man, if, if a person's in trouble, I'll deal with that later. Yeah. I'll help them out, you know, um, because it goes back to what I was saying Um the the good the strength the good people out there they have to be able to help and take care of 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 the sheep and we have a lot of sheep in our society yeah we do yes we do what would you say sorry to put you on the spot but Mm -hmm. i'm going to what would you say let's say three things Mm -hmm. crimes on the rise in a lot of states Mm -hmm. you know i mean you look at california complete disaster yeah uh, and there's a lot of states following suit right behind them. New York, Chicago's is legitimately a fucking war zone now. Yeah. Uh, what? So, and not everybody can escape the state, you know, that they're in. So, what are what would you say that three things people can do to protect themselves? The three things people can do to protect themselves. Number one. De- Depending on the state, because a lot of states, you're if you're carrying a firearm, you're you're more guilty than the person that illegally has one and and is using it. But the three things: number one is situational awareness. Um, understand your environment. You got to understand um, if something doesn't feel right, then nothing's worth dying for. Just leave. Um, number two, ego. Um, if a guy's trying to rob you, there's very few moves that are gonna work out the same way they do in a movie. You know, is it worth getting stabbed over? Is it worth getting shot over? But um, number three is if you, you know, and the most important one is train yourself, whether it's with firearms, whether it's with a knife, whether it's um, whether it's getting into a gym and learning combatives, um, whether, you know, boxing or, um, um, you know, I, I don't know about jujitsu because once you go to the ground, if they got friends, you're you're in yeah. a lot of trouble. But learning how to um, learning some sort of martial art that's going to allow you to strike, strike fast, and get away. Like martial arts isn't about kicking the shit out of the dude, standing over him, and like, yeah, I got you. No, no, no. It's a way to stun the person long enough for you to get away, especially for females. Um, that is, that is key with females understanding the vulnerable points of a body, whether it's the bridge of the nose, whether it's an eye gouge, um, becoming familiar and comfortable with, you know, some, some of these ways to protect yourself. Not a lot of people would first go to stick their thumb through somebody's eyeball, you know, or, or, you know, um, the, the, what is it? Five pounds of pressure to rip someone's genitals off. You know, no one 
that's not a thought process in a lot of people because they don't understand the difference between fighting for your life and what they see on TV. Yeah, that's true. Um, so being able to have that violence of action and the skill to back it up to protect your loved ones and your family, whether again, w- whatever platform you're using, um, but understanding it knowing how to use it, knowing how to effectively use it, and then understanding that your objective is not to destroy the target. Your objective is to be able to get away from that target, however it is. And the very first thing for me is avoidance. Like, all right, man. Yeah, you you got it, dude. I'm leaving. Yeah. Same that here, man. Ego. Ego is what stops people from doing that. Pride and ego. I'm glad you've articulated all three of those things. Mm-hmm. But um, all right, Brian. Well, I all appreciate right, you sharing that information. Yeah. And, and uh, like I said, I hope to see you soon, man. Yeah, you will, for all sure. Right. Cheers. Hey, everybody. I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.